Hello, it's uh, Paul Beckwith, and uh, if you've watched my videos regularly, especially from a couple months ago, you'll know exactly where I am. I'm back in the exact same place where I filmed a 15-minute video about two months ago about the uh, Inco Super Stack in Sudbury, Ontario. So, mining town for nickel. And actually, what you'll see is all the rock around here is black. And it's because it turned black before this uh, Inco super stack was built. So all of the sulfur going up this, from the mining, the uh, mining of the ore for nickel, uh, fell locally in the town. And it killed every tree and the grass and uh, basically had chemical reactions with the rock of the Canadian Shield and turned it this black color. So it's almost like a moonscape. And the people in the city didn't like that too much. So they, uh, the company, Inco, the nickel miner, they nickel processing and mining, they built this uh, super stack so that all the sulfur dioxide, the, basically the acid rain, wouldn't fall on the city, it would go up 1,200 feet or so, which is the height of the thing, or over a thousand feet anyway. And then it would spread over the rest of Canada and go down to the US. And, and uh, you know, people in Sudbury didn't need to worry, send the pollution somewhere else. Okay, so, so that's the whole idea. And then the trees started coming back and uh, the uh, grass started coming back and they had a huge uh, tree replantation project in the city. So it's very interesting. You see the smokestack there with the, uh, all the pipes and the equipment from the industry. Over here you see the uh, pipeline network carrying, uh, I'm not sure what, whether it's chemicals for the smelting process or fuels to run the machinery or whatever and then over here above me you see the power grid going to the factory and a transformer station over here and uh, if I keep going around you see the houses the residential area here okay people just living in the houses and it's probably most of the people living in the houses work right over in the plant so you know, if it gets too smelly and too noisy and too polluted and you live in these houses, you can't really complain too much because they'll just fire you, right? So, you know, you lose your job at the, uh, at the plant. So, so it's perfect for the industry. Anyway, thank you for listening. Sud from Sudbury, Paul Beckwith from Sudbury, Ontario. Please consider donating at my website, http colon slash slash Paul Beckwith net to uh, support my research and uh, videos on the cutting edge of science with a focus on uh, abrupt climate system change and uh, the history you know of the climate of climate change you know what's happened in the past what's happening now and uh, where, where we're going in the future so thanks again for following my channel and thank you to all the people who have donate it to me to allow me to do this work um, you know over the years okay thanks again bye for now it's freezing here i'm freezing my butt off so time to go back to the car very very windy they should put a wind turbine up here perfect spot for it okay thanks bye for now